Hi, this is C.C. McCartney, alive and well in Nashville, Tennessee. I wanted to clear that up. Texans would call Paul Christie well-heeled because by the time he came to the Lone Star State, his resume was filled with big call letters from the West Coast like KJR, KGB, KFRC, and KFI. While the Galveston coastline wasn't as nice as that in Malibu, Paul still fell in love with the place and chose to spend the rest of his days here. In 1983, KRBEAM was floundering in the ratings. Manager John Dew took a chance on a concept that Paul had in his head. It was arguably the first in the nation and the very first to use the term classic rock. Sadly, Paul didn't have the foresight to trademark the term or we'd all be peeling grapes for him at the ceremony today. The format worked, and the last great days of 1070 AM were with Paul in the morning slot alongside partner and 2012 Texas Radio Hall of Fame nominee, Ted Carson. If that kind of success could be had in the waning days of AM, what could Paul do with a 100,000-watt FM station? Houston was just about to find out. KRBE-FM moved Paul to 104.1 FM, and it wasn't long before Power 104 topped the longtime Top 40 giant KKBQ and their zookeeper, John Lander. Wanting to capitalize on a big brand in one of the nation's biggest markets, KZFX hired the popular morning duo of Carson and Christie away with an attempt to put classic rock on FM and Z107 reap the benefits. Rocker KLOL felt the sting. Just a few years later, an old friend of Paul's convinced him to try another music concept, the mix. And Paul agreed to sleep in late for the first time in years. Mix 96.5 flourished with Paul in the afternoon drive, and many were amazed at how he was able to temper his act to a primarily female audience. But he did, and quite successfully. Friend and former program director Guy Zapolian said of Paul Christie, he is without a doubt the best afternoon personality in America. And he was right. Paul left KHMX for KLDE in Houston, and then began to focus on a career in freelance voiceover work. He was one of the first voices heard nationwide on XM Satellite Radio. And today is an in-demand jock on Clear Channel's Premium Choice, where he is still heard in Houston on 93.7 The Arrow, and even here in San Antonio on KZEP. Join me in congratulating my friend, Paul Christie, a 2012 inductee of the Texas Radio Hall of Fame.